Last time I was up here gathering usnea after the storm, I grabbed a little bit too much. I think I was over eager seeing so much of it everywhere. And so I figured I would bring back what I didn't use and give it back to the forest. It should still be able to grow pretty well even on the forest floor here. Not quite as well as up in the trees, but this is better than letting it go to waste. And with that, that's the last bit of wood. Luckily, I'm getting a delivery tomorrow. even found some usnea on these guys. Lately I've been trying to split my time evenly between the cabin and my apartment. This will be my third winter caring for the house, and I've certainly learned my lesson when it comes to making sure I have enough wood to keep it warm. Despite my best efforts, I've managed to nearly run out of firewood before winter's end these past two years. But I'm hopeful this year will be different. In truth, I had a fair bit of difficulty finding any firewood for the cabin this year. All my previous contacts were either no longer selling or had gone out of business, but even though it's a bit late in the season, it all managed to work out. Perhaps a bit oddly, I find the task of stacking firewood to be extremely satisfying and a beautiful effort. Each bit of wood is unique, etched with the stories of its life and filled with such wonderful scent. Besides, it's a very necessary task that feels good to complete. It's productive and at the same time fulfilling and truly a good moment of mindful peace where you are just one with what you are doing. Thank you.
got about a third of all of the wood stacked over here. And then all of the rest of this, I think I will finish stacking tomorrow morning. Each winter, I make sure to craft a large batch of elderberry syrup to keep in my cupboard for those days when I or those that I care about get sick or exposed to a bug. The day I'd initially planned to make my elderberry syrup was what I now realize to be the first day that I began to fall ill from a nasty cold. At the time, I just figured it was simply an off day, and I decided to put off crafting my syrup until the following morning. Unfortunately, it took me about a week to feel well enough to craft the medicine that would have been a great aid during this time. Nonetheless, I am now thankfully prepared for anything else that may come up this winter. 
and I will be sharing the recipe for this soon on my other channel after I've taught a lesson on base syrup making, which should be up in the next couple of days, ideally. So here I have cedar, pine, cinnamon, orange slices, and a bit of clove. Last night I dried these orange slices. It took a lot longer than I thought it would, but my oven did a pretty good job. I went to bed and forgot about them, but remembered luckily and uh, took them out and they were perfect. So, you know, sometimes missteps work out. But earlier this week, part of my workshop that I share on Patreon was sharing a tradition that I have every winter solstice time. And so I figured maybe I should film this and make it a more permanent addition to everything so that uh, more people can have some access to at least this piece of the workshop. It's just a simple winter practice that I really enjoy and I think can bring a lot of happiness to the season. It's actually something I used to sell at markets when I had my herbal business and uh, people always loved them. I was kind of surprised to be honest, but they make really fun gifts for loved ones and uh, they're just a special little thing. So I was hoping to be able to film this this evening, but I have already run out of the sunshine. I am still adjusting to these very short winter days, but that's okay. I will just get it filmed tomorrow morning instead. It's been a little bit slow going for me getting back into the rhythm of living life. I ended up getting sick last week. My roommate brought home a cold and sure enough, I caught it and was sick for a pretty long time, but I started to feel better handful of days ago and luckily just in time for the wood delivery to get here at the cabin. And so I was able to stack all of that up that I have spent the last two days very tired, but I'm glad to be feeling myself and more like a human again and getting back to the things that I love. And now that I'm feeling better, I am looking forward to a lot of adventures to come in the weeks to follow. I have some pretty exciting things that might be happening. <laughs> but I cannot talk about them yet. I will hopefully maybe be able to talk about them in the next video. Uh, we'll see. I'll keep you updated on that. But beyond that, I'm just really grateful to be in winter. It's actually snowing right now and it's been snowing all day. It hasn't really been sticking to the ground yet, but uh, it's just been beautiful to watch. I miss the snowstorms. I'm very much a person who needs snow, but I do love the cozy rainy days and getting to sit by the fire. And boy, there sure are a lot of those in this area.
Thank you.